All right, here we are at the bottom of Billy Goat Bluff track. I think the uh, Hilux is ready for a bit of action. It's got the uh, rip em up tires on. This is the best one. The others are looking not too good. That's the way up the track this away. And we'll go and uh, see what it's like. A bit of action, hopefully. This could be the best Billy Goats, two highlights going up Billy Goats video you've ever seen. And away we go. You know what I'm going to put in this video, what I want to tell you about just quickly. And this is why when you do your suspension, spring selection, you've got to remember it's not all about who's highest, especially at the front, because um, as we get up this track and it gets steeper and rougher, what well, you've got to remember, the weight is on the rip. As you're facing up a hill, the weight transfers to the low side. Okay, so a lot of the weight's on your back tyres, your back suspension, the rear end of the vehicle. So that means the front is higher, it's unsprung, right? It can be completely unsprung almost, and your shock is sort of topped out, yeah? So that will not allow your suspension to work and allow you to keep a front wheel on the ground and of course you're not even going to be a you're going to be a rear wheel drive at best then if you haven't got your front wheels on the ground if you've got most of your weight on the rear and way too much height at the front of your Prada or your Hilux or any other IFS limited suspension travel um, yeah completely unsprung soon as one gets slightest bit unloaded and you get a wheel spin you got nothing at the other end, then you're just a rear wheel drive, so then it's all reliant upon your LSD to get you up the hill. So just think about that when you're selecting your suspension, or if you know that you have too high at the front, consider dropping it. There we go, straight up the uh, wall of rock. Let's see how the Hilux gets started up here. No problem. There's lots of different ways to tackle this track. It's always changing. Let's have a look behind to see what's going on. Okay, so we just made it up to the helipad. Straightforward driving as usual. And now we drop down this little hill again and keep following along that ridge line. Should be some action soon. So this is the first section, we're past the alley pad about five minutes up. This is the first section that tends to give a lot of people some grief. So let's see how we go, eh? I'm, I like doing things slowly at least at first. I'm not going to pick sides, I'm going to go straight up the middle and let the tyres and the suspension, the Dobinsons, flex up and do the job. And oh, there's a bit of traction control made, I'm going to give it a bit. So that time the traction control, a little bit of brakes. Just in the Hiluxes, it's not the high-tech traction control, let's call it. It's the, it's the budget traction control. So it does help, and it gets the job done a lot of the time. But sometimes it just doesn't. You don't compare it to like a 150 Prado. It's chalk and cheese. But this is actually a really good rough section for people to get some next-level driving experience. Because it's rough, it's loose. As we get a bit further up here, there's a few different lines you can take. Left side, right side. I'm literally going to kind of go straight up the middle, but when I say up the middle, I'm look, I know where my tyres are and I'm looking at the rocks and I'm, I've got a fine line where I've placed my tyres if the vehicle stays there, so that I'm going to drive over it just like it's a flat track, because it is pretty flat to be quite honest. In other videos where you see it's having a bit of trouble, there's some quite deep washouts when you've got that wet clay in there, that's what makes all the difference. Let's get a bit of uh, footage of the vehicle behind us, eh? trouble up that section um, so we're running the Dobbinson's parabolics and I just got a comment from the vehicle behind that the springs look nice and soft just want to let everyone know don't get excited they're not for carrying load very light vehicles standard vehicles you know not trading utes with all the weight in them okay so vehicle behind so 
we've got quite a hole dug, I better focus on this hole, there's quite a hole in front of us which I'm planning to straddle, it's going to be under the vehicle and I'm going to drive straight over it, I'm not going to contribute it to the wheel spinning digging holes, it's just completely unnecessary. But we've got another good section of rough track coming down here, this is the second section that gives some people a lot of grief or a lot of people some grief. Personally, when I've driven up Billy Goats in a number of different vehicles many times, other than just driving like this, having a bit of fun, a little bit of wheel slip here or there, a little bit of bouncing around, never had an issue. Okay, we've had many vehicles up here, most of them on KO2s. Nobody on any of our convoys in over a decade has ever had a puncher, a flat, a slice tire or anything on a KO2, but there were four vehicles that came up here on 697s or similar tracks to this in one trip. I'm not concentrating on where I'm driving, am I? I'm going to go back a little bit and have another look at that. Um, yeah, it's four vehicles who slice 697, so just be aware of your tyre choice. Let's go back and have a look-see. Right, so what we got here is, it's a bit dug up, so we're going to, if we take that line, yeah, there's a couple of different lines you can take, but you end up in trouble. I'll show you what I mean. I could, I'm going to get about halfway on this line. Actually, I'm not even going to be moving from where I am at that point, because I don't know where I'm on now, actually. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Just give me a sec. Just give me a bit of space. I'm going to have a muck around again. There's a few different ways to do this. But there's a few holes there, and they're all in different spots. So it's going to be a bit of weaving this way and that way, but I'm not planning to get up the first time. A bit of education here maybe right so at the moment we're letting the track <laughs> traction control doesn't even this is out so that's what we got as far as looseness goes that's what we've got to contend with there's not a lot of traction then we've got some big holes going on right so what we need to do bring it over this way you could do it with a lot of momentum that'll get you there but what i'm trying to do is stay on that ridge and then i need to come across but momentarily just there Okay, I didn't think that was going to work out. We're not there yet. No, we're spinning wheels. We're going backwards, yeah. More berries to see. Yeah, more berries. Traction troll and a bit of grip kicked it in in the end. And happy days. That's one way to do it, but there's many others. We'll uh, get some footage of you coming up. section that gives some people a lot of trouble yeah this is the third section that gives some people a lot of trouble or a lot of trouble to some people but I think it's just up over the next crest maybe it's right here so we go slow because you've got to keep your wheels on the ground to keep the traction if you're bouncing your wheels in here you, a, you haven't got traction but you might br 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 break something Actually, this is uh, not too bad. It might not be the section I was thinking of, but let's see. It's got some, it's got some washed out cross sections. If I'm right, there's a possibility very soon I'm just going to be sitting here spinning a wheel. That's a spot right there, right? So we're going to let the traction control pull us up on grippy rock stuff in the Hilux. The traction control basically does the job after a bit of burning rubber. So in the 150s, it just grips up a lot quicker. It really controls the situation. So here you could go uh, hard left and stay on the rock. Or we're out to the right on a bit of dirt. And we've got more of this stuff. Right? So we would have been better off to the left. 
because that would have squared us up more. But look, to be honest, boy, the look of the amount of traction and how dry it is. If this had rain on it, then uh, you know you'd have possible traction problems. You know what I mean? So, but uh, we're going up here, all right. Just got to do it slow because we're just popping over all those rocks. Yeah, we're staying Always bigger than you uh, think in the video, you know what I mean? What you see in the, you know, what you can see in the picture. It's always times it by two at least, usually. Anyway, we'll continue up. This is going all right. I believe we may have some vehicles on coming head on soon. So, I oh know, here we go. Got a bit more tessellated, crossed up rock. So, actually, let's keep rolling this because the fun sections continue. So I'm going to come around to the right so I can see what's going on. Yeah, that's right. We're just going to take it slow over there. If this doesn't work for you, the number one tool you've got, the hint was in the noise. Did you hear that? <coughs> let the tyres down. The more you let the tyres down, the more traction you've got, the more the slower you can go. Look, you're going to lose a bit of clearance, but traction wins over clearance in most cases. Not always, but in most cases, right? And this pretty much completes the climb. Bada binga. Oh, we got the rough section up. We're gonna record this one out the front. We've got a few more holes here. A bit like that other mess. Just give a bit of space, mate. Getting a bit close behind, could be a bit up. Sort of try to pick the right line. No, I picked, I picked a good line of that one, all worked out okay. There's another one up here. Oh, well, here we go, going back. There's another one up here though, it could be worse. Let's back it up a little bit because I'm concentrating too much on which uh, camera's rolling and not, and not enough drive. There's a number of ways to get up this section here. Let's see if we can move forward from here. No, it says no. That's, you know, so you're right on the edge of traction. We've got a bit of wetness going on here. Okay, you can hard to see. There's a hole right in the middle. Obviously, speed would probably work, but speed is not what we do usually. So let's try and go right over the middle hole and try and straddle it because you don't want to have your wheels in a hole. You want to straddle the hole. So let me do what I teach, right? So there you go. Straight over it if you are. Uh, and this is going to be grippy as, so you need to go slow. Here we're doing Anthony's driving lessons again, right? Let the tyres get the grip by keeping the vehicle on the ground. A lot of people drive up around the sides, you can see all the marks. Going straight up the guts, leading the KO2s even though they're stuffed. And they're still on 20 PSI, yeah, there's a lot more pressure you can let out. Particularly at the front, remember what we spoke about earlier with the suspension, remember the weight's on the rear. So it's important your rear tyre pressures are right, but it's even more important the front are right. And what I mean is, if there's no weight on them, you need to let a lot more out of the front when you're going up a hill to get them to bag out a bit and get some traction and help pull you up the hill. Four wheel driving, you know, not two wheel driving. Here we go, I thought that might happen there. Here we go, traction again, let's see what traction does. There you go, so give it a bit more berries. And it's a rocky area. Pilux traction works, we'll go left side here just to decrease the dip a bit and risk flexing it up like that. I think we know the traction, I'll give it to it. Oh yeah, traction's even going to do the job here, there you go, okay. Interesting. I didn't think that was going to pull us through, but... And this is testing all your CVs, your diffs and everything, you've got to be careful of your diffs. They're not weak, it's just you can get unlucky really, it's rare that you do damage to a dip. CVs are good in Prados, in Hiluxes, they're good unless you're unlucky and the way to be lucky is to get those K-On diff drop mounts in if you've got, because they've got extra travel, they do have extra travel. So tracks like this, if you're keeping it straight you'll be okay, but if you start crossing it up, that's where it's going to go butter bing and bust a CV and you're putting in a, a drive shaft and a diff, diff drop kit. So Anyway, this is pretty straightforward now. We're going to get up here to the bluff and uh, it's going to, you know, it just keeps giving, mate. Holes here and rocks there and loose scrabbly all over the joint. So that's uh, Billy Guts for you. Mate, how are we going to get up here? That's nothing. Oh, 
we continue. Got a big uh, washout in the middle of this rock section here, so I'm sure we're going to get flexed up. Just keep your distance a bit in case I spin a wheel up here too. Um, you know, we're not going back far, usually only a metre or so, but I'm going to see what the traction does here. That's what I thought was going to happen. Hey, up. Smoking them up, mate. So, yeah, that's where, you know, if you had the LSD to get some... So, basically, we've got one front and one rear spinning, which means you've got no drive. So, we've got traction... Like that like that. <laughs> that's it. So you got one front, one rear spinning, so you got no traction at the other side. So this is where you just need either your front or your rear diff to pick up. So what we'll do, just without even looking at the track, I'm gonna go left side. We're not gonna do speed yet, we'll see what happens. And if that doesn't work, which it is, maybe. There it is, and as it grips up, I back it off again, yeah? So basically what's happening is the track control, it's, it's reducing power and or adding brakes depending on what vehicle to stop the wheel spinning so that you get the drive back to the other side again right it's just not that effective in the hiluxes but um what's what do you reckon we'll get some footage of him coming up just in case there's a bit of bit of uh, entertainment for us hey eh? This is the uh, favourite bit where you stop, narrowest point. You sort of right at the top of the ridge on the narrowest point. Get a photo of the vehicles parked there, and uh, don't fall off the side because it's pretty well straight down. Just beautiful, and you got like, yeah, you just what a spot to be driving. We'll get out and show you around the vehicles just a little bit off the side of the hill here, just for a minute, eh? Similar view to uh, yesterday. Sometimes you can get this uh, really muddy section here. And you've got to be careful, right? I'll tell you what can happen here, right? You can slide off to the side into there. Oh, here we go. Hang on a sec. I don't actually remember this from yesterday. So you don't want to slide into those side things, but we came up here yesterday. I know we got a shower, but mate, we're sliding into a, you know, it's pretty. How do you like that, eh? <laughs> I don't remember trying to drive up this yesterday. If we're not careful, we'll end up in that, that one over there on the right where you don't want to be. So sometimes you got to go, look over the other side of this mountain's dry. I'm going to give it the bearings and just make sure. You get what I mean? Trying to teach you something there, because once you get on your own, stuck in one of those on the right you need someone to pull you need a reverse winch mate you're in trouble i know that someone was stuck for a long time he got out before i got out there to get him out but not good mate it's not where you want to be so you can if you got a winch you can put it under the vehicle and try winching backwards and all this sort of weird stuff people put it up the side of the vehicle well guess what not good you end up with damage on the, the bull bar oh slippery asthma sliding all over the joint so just be aware of that because, uh, yeah, like I said, there was definitely some rain, some showers, heavier. You know, the weather said fine, mainly sunny. <laughs> Just around the bend a bit more. You got the chicken track straight ahead. The main track goes down here. I'm going to go down the uh, main track because we went through it yesterday and it wasn't too bad because it's just shorter than uh, going in the chicken track, you know? It's just shorter. Sometimes chicken, chicken tracks, they got logs down and they're tight and this and that. Plenty of room, no problem coming down here. Anyway, that completes our uh, up Billy Goat's Bluff track. Obviously, two vehicles we drove up. A little bit of fun here and there, no dramas. And uh, so that completes this video. Thanks for watching a lot. S subscribe and all that stuff. Put all these videos in the high country playlist. So if you want more high country track and driving information, check out that playlist. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Two loops. Bye.